Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel, MathWeb. Let us solve question number 8 from Pierre Standard Excel A level exam for Pure Math 2. This exam was taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 12 slash 01. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying entirely on calculated technology are not acceptable. First part, solve for 0 less than x is less than or equals to pi. The equation 5 sin, sin x tan x plus 13 equals to cosine x. Giving your answer in radians to three significant figures. First of all, value of x lies between 0 to pi. Means first and second quadrant. Let us solve this equation. 5 sin x tan x plus 13 equals to cosine x. For the first part, 5 sin x. tan x plus 13 equals to cosine x. tan x could be replaced by its formula that is equal to sine over cosine. We can write here 5 sine x into formula of tan x is sine x over cosine x plus 13 equals to cosine x. To get rid of the denominator, multiply by the same. This is the easiest way to solve the fractions. Whatever the highest denominator is, multiply by that denominator. We will multiply by cosine x. When you multiply this term by cosine x, this cosine x will be cancelled out. It left with only 5 sine square x. Plus 13 will multiply cosine x and we get as 3, 13 cosine x equals to cosine square x. We can replace by its formula in terms of cosine because every term is in cosine. So we should convert all these uh, trigonometric identities into cosine. So sine square x could be replaced by its formula that is equals to 1 minus cosine square x plus 13 cosine x equals to cosine square x. Now expand the bracket. So it will be 5 minus 5 cosine square x plus 13 cosine x equals to cosine square x. We will take these values to the right, right side. All these three values goes to the right side and sine will be changed. This cosine square x is already there. This minus 5 cosine square will be added to that. So we get as 6 cosine square x. And this 13 x becomes minus 13 cosine x minus 5 equals to 0. I'm writing the same equation on the next page 6 cosine square x minus 13 cosine x and minus 5 is equals to 0. This is the quadratic equation in terms of cosine. We could apply quadratic formula here by quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula if you are writing here x equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac. You should memorize this formula as well. Okay, we are using this one many times. Here, a is six, b is negative thirteen, and c is negative five. Just uh, plug in the values in the quadratic formula. We will get the answer for cosine minus b. This minus and that minus will make it plus, so it will be plus thirteen plus minus b square minus thirteen square will be one hundred sixty nine minus four ac. A is six and c is negative five. Divide by two a a is 6. Solve the value under the square root. We get the answer as 13 plus minus 17 divided by 12. Here we get the answer, two answers for cosine. One answer will be 13 plus 17. That will be equals to 30 divided by 12. And other answer will be cosine x equals 13 minus 17 is minus 4 minus 4 over 12. This value is greater than 1 so we will reject it. We know that value of sine and cosine the maximum value for sine and cosine function is 1 but this one is more than 1 therefore we can reject this. Now simplifying this one we get as minus 1 over 3. Here we know that sine, cosine, cosine is negative in second and third quadrant. Uh, this is the rule. These are four quadrants. 
here all positive in fourth quadrant cosine positive in third quadrant tan positive and in second quadrant sine positive so cosine is negative in second and third quadrant here in these two quadrants but uh, you remember that we know this one is 0 and here is pi by 2 and this is pi and here 3 pi by 2 270 like this and 2 pi we have to find the value of x between first and second quadrant only therefore we will write over here the reference angle whatever the answer is here you should know how to get the reference angle reference angle we always get without negative sign negative sign just decide in which quadrant it lies so you will take the inverse of this one cosine inverse 1 over 3 make sure your calculator should be in radian mode and then you find cosine inverse 1 over 3 and answer will be 1.23 1.23 is the reference angle actually this angle is 1.23 this one but we need to find all we always measure the angle and take clockwise from x axis so you need to find this angle so subtract this angle from pi to get the required answer therefore x will be equals to pi minus 1.23 and x will be equals to pi minus 1.23 gives you the answer 1.91 1.91 this will be in radian so this is the answer for the first part for second part of this question the temperature inside greenhouse is monitored on one particular day the temperature h degree celsius inside the greenhouse t hours after midnight is modeled by h equals to 10 plus 12 sine kt plus 18 and t lies between 0 to 24 you know in one day there are 24 hours at midnight it is 0 0 you remember okay where k is the constant use the equation of model to answer part a to c given that the temperature inside the greenhouse was 20 degrees celsius at 6 am so h is representing the temperature it means this one is h at 6 am from you know from midnight to 6 am you should know what how many hours these are so t will be equals to 6 hours so t is 6 and h is 20 hopefully you understand this one find all possible values of k giving each answer to two decimal places now you plug in these two values h equals to 20 and t equals to 6 in this equation and for sure you will get the value of k let me write this equation over there and then we will plug in these values to get the answer for the first part let me write the equation over here for the second part h equals to 10 plus 12 sine kt plus 18 it is given in the question that h equals h equals to 20 degrees celsius and time taken is two uh, six hours plugging these two values in the above equation it will be 20 here and uh, 10 plus 12 sine t is 6 so it will be 6k plus 80 it is in degrees 10 goes to the other side it becomes uh, it will it will be 10 10 divided by 12 this 12 will divide it to the other side 10 goes there it will be subtracted and you get the answer 10 and this 12 will divide to the other side we get answer as sine 6k plus 18 simplifying this one so you get as sine 60 uh, 6k plus 18 it is in degrees and 10 divided by 12 will be 5 over 6 we know that sine is positive in first and second quadrant it is in degrees so we will write here this is 0 this is 180 degrees so sine is positive in first quadrant and in the second quadrant here all positive all positive in first quadrant then sine positive then tan positive and then cosine positive so terminal arm of the angle will be here and uh, in this quadrant got it and you need to find the reference angle make sure your calculator should be in in degrees degree mode sin inverse 5 over 6 it will give you the answer as 56.4 now angle is this angle reference angle is 56.4 and here it is 56.4 but we need to measure the angle always anti-clockwise so this angle you have to measure from here to here so we will get two answers here first answer will be the same and second answer you have to get from 
subtracting 56.4 from 180. So 6, 6k plus 18 will be equals to same answer 56.4 and the other answer you can get from subtracting 56.4 from 180 degrees. If you subtract it from 180 minus 56.4 it will give you the answer 123.6 degrees. Now you get the answer for k, 6k will be equals to subtract this one from uh, 18 from 56.4 minus 18, it gives you the answer 38.4 and then you divide this answer by 6 implies that value of k will be equals to 6.4. So this is the answer for k, one answer for k. Other answer of k could be found from here, 6k will be equals to you subtract 18 from 123.6 this is 105.6 and you divide by 6 it will be 17.6 17 17 these both answers are within the limit what is given here let me go back to the question to show you yes both answers we got two answers one is 6.4 and other is 17 point something uh, both answers are within this limit so both answers are acceptable for the next part giving further that 0 is less than k less than 10 we got two answers we will choose that value of k that is within this limit find the maximum temperature inside the greenhouse uh, we got two answers for k i already wrote this equation to save time for the second part uh, this one is here now just plug in the value of k that value of k that is within the limit of 0 to 10. So we got two answers one was 17.6 and other was 16 6.4 use this value here. This value of k is within the limit for this part okay. So h will be equals to 10 plus 12 sine 6.4 t plus 18. Let's move back to the question again to let you know what we need to find here. Yes, we need to find the maximum temperature inside the greenhouse. You know that temperature will be maximum if the value of sine is maximum here. Okay, for maximum temperature, you should use the maximum value of sine. That is always equals to 1, if you remember that value of sine. Look at the graph of sine, it looks like, goes like this way, you remember. Uh, the maximum value for the sine function is always 1 and minimum value is minus 1. Uh, here if you replace this function with 1 you will get maximum temperature in the first part. So that is very easy 10 plus 12 will be 22. And uh, for the next part find the time of the day at which this maximum temperature occurs. Then also you need to find the temperature. Find the maximum temperature occurs. Okay. Find the time. You need to find the time actually. What was the time when this maximum temperature occurs there? Let us continue. For maximum temperature, for maximum temperature, we should use this one sine 6.4 T plus 18 should be equals to 1. So H will be equals to 10 plus 12. Replace the value of this sine 6.4 T plus 18 here. Uh, as 1 we get the answer as 22. So 22 degrees Celsius is the maximum temperature that occurs on that day. Now for the next part we should find the time when it was it occurred okay. You need to find t actually. Uh, no first you will find t you will get the number of hours then you will find the time by using that number of hours from the midterm. Now we use this one to get the value of t. Sign 6.4 t plus 18 is equals to 1. We know that sine is maximum at 1 and the angle will be 90 degrees. So 6.4 t plus 18 should be equals to 90 degrees. Implies that taking inverse of uh, 1, sine inverse 1 is 90 degrees. Then you get as 6.4 6.4 t equals 90 minus 18 is uh, 72 and then you get the answer as 72 divided by 6.4 so 
so this one is equals to 11.25 hours this means that 11 hours and 0 0.25 0 0.25 hours means uh, 15 minutes let me show you just multiply 0 0.25 by 60 you get the answer in minutes you know how to convert hours into minutes in one hour there are 60 minutes so it will be 15 minutes so 0 0.25 hours means 15 minutes so you can write as 11 hours and 15 minutes so what will be the time uh, of the day time of the day will be you can write as 11 11 past 15 minutes like this it will be am for sure this is all about question number eight if you have any question or doubt in this question uh, please write in the comment box thank you so much